Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking find the area of the surface obtained by rotating the curve 9x is equal to y square plus 80 about the x axis, right? So, here we can do this in two different ways. So, whenever we have rotating around x axis, we use this formula a surface area is equal to integral 2 phi y ds right so since it is x axis this is y if it's y axis this is x right so let's see how we can do this one and ds we can take two different methods like first one is you can take 2 phi y so ds is basically the arc length equation so if you know that you know that that's going to be 1 plus y prime square dx or 1 plus x prime square dy you can do both method so let's try y prime square this this method and see what we get both will give the same answer and uh, let's try to so if you want to do this we have to convert this one in terms of y we know that 9x is equal to y square plus 18 so let's try to find y so from this one y square is equal to 9x plus 18 right so y is going to be equal to square root of 9x plus 18 and I can notice that uh, I can take the 9 common right here so if I take 9 common this is going to be x plus 2 and if I take x, uh, this 9 I can take out of the square root and that's going to give us actually this is uh, 9x minus 18 9x minus 18 so this is going to be 9x minus 18 and here we are going to have 9x minus 2 so this is going to be 3 3 square root of x minus 2 right so this is what we get when we find in terms of y value now let's try to find the derivative now we have to plug the derivative right here so let's try to find the derivative y so we, we can write this one as 3 x minus 2 power half because square root is same as power half now let's do the derivative so this is going to be half multiplied by 3 that's going to be 3 by 2 then x power minus 2 half minus 1 that's going to be minus half and then inside derivative this is going to be chain rule but inside derivative is going to be just 1 because we only have x right here so it's just going to be 1 so we can leave it like this now we can write this one as 3 over 2 square root of x minus 2 right but this is y prime here we need y prime square so in order to find that we just square this one so y prime square is going to give us 9 over 4 yes, if I square this square will be elim eliminated that's going to be just x minus 2 so this is what we get when we square this one so let's go ahead and plug this one right here so since we are doing this one in terms of dx this y should be in terms of x right so we know that y is equal to 9x minus 18 or 3 square root of x minus 2 this one is better so y is equal to this one so we can go ahead and plug this one instead of y because we we can't integrate in terms of y right so since this is in uh, in terms of x it's easier because we have the region also in terms of x so we can directly put that one right here 2 to 6 so the limits of integration is 2 to 6 because it's provided right here and phi, 2 phi y is going to be 3 times square root of x minus 2 right and then let's write it like this and then we have this one right here square root of 1 plus phi prime square we found it already that is 9 over 4 x minus 2 and then dx and from this one it's already clear if I take this common denominator I can cancel this one so let's uh, take all the constant to the front so except x everything is going to be constant 
So this 6, 5 can be taken to the front because 3, 2, 5, that's going to be 6, 5. 6, 5 to the front, 2 to 6, and then we have x minus 2 right here. And then if I take common denominator for this one, this is going to be 4x minus 2. So let's multiply, if I multiply this one, 4x minus 8. So I can write this one in top, 4x minus 8 right here, because I'm replacing like it's same, this one is same as 4x minus 8 or 4x minus 8. That's how we take the common denominator, right? So the top remains like this, plus 9, and then dx. Now let's simplify this one, maybe a different color, 6, 5, 2 to 6 square root of x minus 2 and if you notice we can take the 4 out that is same as 2 in the bottom right square root of 4 is 2 and then this one we can write this one as the top function is going to be 4x and plus 9 minus 8 that's going to be just plus 1 so 4x plus 1 right here and the denominator we are going to have square root of x minus 2 I took the 4 already out that's why this will come this will this became 2 and we have x minus 2 right here now we can cancel this x minus 2 and this x minus 2 and also we have 2 in the denominator I can cancel with this 6 that's going to be 3 right so let's so I also we have a dx right here so let's simplify this one furthermore we have 3 2 2 to 6 and then we cancel this one already we have 4x plus 1 dx so this is the one we have right now and 3 phi in front and if you notice that 4x we have x in the square square root and dx outside dx is derivative of x so we can do the u substitution right here so u substitution if I want to do the u substitution I can pick up u as 4x plus 1 so I can replace this one now du is going to be just 4 dx right but we just want the dx right here so dx is equal to from this one we can derive dx is equal to du divided by 4 now we can write everything in terms of u so let's go ahead and continue right here right so now let's write everything in terms of u so we have 3 phi in front that doesn't change and the limits of integration is going to change so the new normal limit of limits of integration is going to be when we substitute 2 for this x value that's going to be 4 times 2 8 plus 1 that's going to be 9 and then upper limits of integration when we substitute 6 for this x value 6 times 4 is going to be 24 plus 1 that's going to be 25 right and then square root of u we know that 4x plus 1 is equal to u so we can put square root of u and then dx is equal to du by 4 so we can bring the 4 to the front this since it's a constant we can bring the 4 to the front and we have du right here and this one is same as 3 power half right so let's write in that way 3 5 by 4 9 to 25 u power half du now we can do the integration so if you integrate this one this is going to be 3 by 5 by 4 u power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 but instead of writing 2 in the bottom I can because it's going to flip it flip around anyway right so I can write the 2 right here in top and that's going from 9 to 25 right now let's cancel something so here if you notice this 3 this 3 cancels this 2 and this 4 cancels and become 2 and now let's plug the values we have 5 by 2 in front and then we have 25 on top so that's going to be the first value 25 power 3 by 2 minus 9 power 3 by 2 and that's it and if you notice 25 is 5 square right if I take square I can cancel these two so let's take the square so here 5 by 2 and then we have 5 square power 3 by 2 and if you notice this 2 2 cancels and again 9 power 3 by 2 can be written as 3 square 
So 3 square power 3 by 2. Again we have 2, 2 cancels. So we get 5 by 2 multiplied by 5 cube minus 3 cube. We know that 5 cube is going to be 125. So this is going to be 5 over 2 times 125 minus 27. Right? 125 minus 27 is going to give us 98. 98 divided by 2, that's going to be 49. So the final answer is going to be 49, 5. So that's the surface area of this given expression. So 49, 5 is the surface area. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.